gonna all right we're live <laughs> we're just gonna keep a random conversation like keep going wait so wait i i told him i would learn things chris you good oh my bad i fell asleep my bad, well, my bad. this guy this <laughs> are we live guy. Yet? are we live bro we've been live for like three seconds <laughs> oh shit <laughs> I literally, I look over to see if we're live, and I look back, and this man is snoring. <laughs> Bro, just like okay, I, I've had, a, had, I've had a long day. Okay, what, well, what, day. what's a long day for for Chris Sean? I want to know. What's a <laughs> long day for Chris Sean? Huh? My, my dream, my dream job. Your dream my job. Dream you, job. you, you started already. Yes, sir. I started mm -hmm. already, and um, I just, I can't announce until January fifteenth. January 15th, you can't announce what this is yet? No. Is this the job that you screwed me over in? Yes. Wait, what? <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> no one that you about, bro. Are we going to bring you, it up? You want to bring this up now? Okay. You, uh, you the, 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 one, the, the one job that you ruined my hopes and dreams for and the one that almost made me quit uh, my developer career. Um, I will say it right now on the live stream. Chris Sean is the reason I almost left development. <laughs> I almost did the world of service and I, I <laughs> failed completely. And I am, I apologize. Please forgive me, everyone. Um, almost succeeded. But now I'm stuck here doing Dev Talks with Fem every week. <laughs> well, the last time we said every week, I think we took like a what? Two week hiatus. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. We did. We did we two did week hiatus. hiatus, but I think I, hopefully. Hopefully we're back once you're all settled and stuff because I know you've been you've been doing a couple things. Yeah, actually, I, I think I might I have COVID actually. Um, Wait, what? <clears throat> yeah, I was supposed to go to my boss's um uh well my boss's daughter's wedding this weekend, and I actually I I told him I don't think I should make it because um I lost I already lost my taste and smell. Oh my god! Yeah. Wait, you actually have it right right now? Mm -hmm. No, I don't know. You if didn't I had tell it. me. I just been feeling sick. But I don't, Brother, I don't you, feel you like mean, I don't feel bad. But like, you have, I, I mean, but you lost your sense of taste already. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> Why didn't you tell me that would have been the title of the of the stream? <laughs> Whoa, <laughs> that's what you care about. <laughs> if, I have, if I have COVID, are you serious, dude? Bro, this is this, this friendship. <laughs> This, this this can't this can't go on anymore, man. Our, is... our friendship has turned into clickbait. Oh my gosh, this is so bad, <laughs> dude. Oh. But are, you're you're doing all right? You're doing okay? Yeah, yeah. No, I'm good, man. I'm good. Okay. Um, yeah. All right. That's good. That's good. No, as long as you're all right, because I mean, like, I wouldn't have suspected that you had it. Um, yeah. Because I mean, you look fine. You seem fine. Uh huh. I just like. Losing, I, yeah, I had a friend who lost his taste, and it was just like that would have. I, I would have lost my mind if I lost my taste. Like not being oh. able to taste coffee. Like what? I don't drink coffee. I just drink Monster and Diet Coke. Which yeah, but then you can't taste it. Like, see, the thing I told myself was like, if I ever got it, I would just eat the nastiest things and drink the the nastiest things that I I don't <laughs> like. <laughs> yeah, for content, for content. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Um, but. All right. Anyways, so tangent aside, welcome to the stream, everybody. Welcome to the Dev Talk podcast. Or what are we? Are we saying the Dev Talk podcast? Are we saying the Dev Talk? The Dev Talk. Okay. So welcome to the Dev Talk. I thought, ah, yeah, that, that has a better roll of the tongue. Um, <coughs> welcome to the Dev Talk, where we talk about Chris has COVID, and uh, <laughs> we're gonna be talking about. <laughs> We're going to be talking about um, some of the things that we've gone through in our careers. Chris probably has done a lot more than I have. Um, you, For some of you guys who are joining the live stream, you guys have seen some of the things that I failed on, which is pretty much everything I touch. Um, but yeah, like as devs, we want to talk about some of like the some of the cringiest things or some of the easiest things that might seem like very basic conceptually, but some of the Maybe, yeah, we could go into like story time, I guess, about things that you failed on the job, Chris, because that would be interesting, right? Like through all the jobs that you've been through, hop through, um, yeah. maybe some of those things where it's like, I don't know why I failed on this or I don't I know why. I a lot of things, man. Honestly, everything. Everything. Just, just name it. 
because uh, I, I joined I joined my job when I knew nothing. The the first one, entrepreneur. Uh, that's not that was the second one. I my oh. new developer job, so I knew nothing. So you have to imagine everything I learned, I sucked at and failed at, and it took me forever to build. But but okay, like so, when you say nothing, I I'm gonna take that very loosely. No, what do you mean? Nothing. No, like literally nothing. You've never coded anything in your life. Dude, my portfolio, I used to make that job. I copied it from a YouTube video. I, I feel like people do that, though. I don't necessarily think like that's I that. I made that two weeks before getting that job. <laughs> and, <laughs> <laughs> like, I remember I, I, you I, telling me a story about this and me getting fairly angry because of how quote unquote easy it was for you to get it. Yeah, it's it's crazy. It's I mean again, like I still is it's all luck, you know what I mean? And then the fact that everything just happened at the right time. Right time, right place. But yeah, I feel that everything, man. Like you name it. Like what the heck is a variable? Uh wait, what you don't like here? Yeah, like what the heck is a variable? Um wait. Uh ask my friend, hey, um, can you help me write this click function? How do you do this? And he would do it right I mean, in front of me in jQuery. Yeah. And it's just easy uh-huh. vanilla JavaScript. I still didn't understand it. I'm like, oh, that makes so much sense. Pretending I understand what he did. And then, you know, he leaves. I'm like, how the frick did he do this? All right. <laughs> Let's go to Treehouse and go to another tutorial. Because I'll still find tutorials. <laughs> and I think that's like, that's like the other thing too is what I'm actually curious now. Like, so through your first and second job, right? Mm-hmm. How much? Like, okay, actually, no. For the junior dev job, right? How many times were you asking people questions, or like how many times were you like going through tutorials while you're on the job? Because I'm curious. Asked people questions. Really? That's why it took me so long to get good at it. Oh wow! But oh, come on, you had three months? No, no. no, like, like I would just struggle through it. Like what? Give me an example. That the click the click function. Oh, the click the click function. Oh, okay, I got you. I got or you. even just CSS because I was so new to everything. Yeah, um, I, like I, I was scared to ask people because I'm the new guy. They were expecting a senior developer, you know, the PHP, the back end developers, the front developers that were expecting, all right, we need a lot of help. We're going to get a senior developer. That's what we're looking for. Boom. The CEO was like, hey, you look like a great guy. You know what? We're going to hire you. Yep. They picked up someone that knew nothing. You know what I mean? So when you're in that situation, they're expecting someone really good. Yeah. And not, it's like, dang, like, you know, and I mean, and those people are all still at that same company, by the way. Really? They haven't ex- they haven't moved on yet? They have not moved on. Which Damn. is crazy to me. They didn't hire any new developers after me. Um, the exact same people. Yeah. Wow. Dude, yeah. like that's crazy to me because I feel like I'm I feel like you know what I mean? Like having the, that experience of failing very early on and coming into something that you don't know, I think feel yeah. like puts you in the mindset of like you always want to be in the know. Does that make sense? Like you yeah. always want to yeah. figure things out. You always want to learn something because you never mm-hmm. really ever want to be in a situation like that ever again, where you go yeah. into an environment where it's like, I really don't know anything, even though it's like yeah, maybe it's one of the most sucks, benefits, man. Things. And that's why one of my biggest regrets was not asking questions. That's why when I <clears throat> tell new developers, I like, go into industry, like, yo, ask a lot of questions. That's the first thing I say. Make sure you ask a lot of questions because I didn't. That's why it took me so much longer to get more comfortable and good at what I did compared to other people because I didn't ask. Yeah, I'm a YouTuber. I should know all of this already. You know what I mean? See, that's I the thing that I hate. I, this you is the thing YouTube that channel. I hate. You have a following. People look up to you for advice. And so, like, people would literally go to me. I'm only in six months of developer, still knowing nothing. But mm-hmm. people go to me as like, you're the guy I need to ask. Why? Because not many people were creating content in this niche back in the day. Mm-hmm. Dude, that's crazy to me. That like, I remember, I remember back then when I was looking at, and I've told you this before, like off stream. I remember watching your videos back then. I remember being, I think I was, I was still working at Central, Central Computers, the computer I- store. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, I mean, it wasn't even IT. It was like I was doing sales on the floor and um, what's it called? Like building or fixing computers in the back. I wasn't even yeah. doing like real, real IT just yet. And I remember watching your vlogs and being like, yeah, I hate working at a store right now. Like, I really want to do this. And there was no one else doing it. Like no one. Like dude. I. That's why I did it though, because I would like yeah. right, when, I'm, when I was learning at Treehouse. I'm like, hey, I watch Gary Vee. There should be someone else documenting the journey in development. Dude, I, I didn't know Gary Vee before Roman. you. What? 
You, I didn't know. I didn't even know of Gary V. Like before oh, I was yeah. watching you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like you were my Gary V. You were my Gary V. Like before I knew Gary V. Oh, oh, oh man. You, you feel, you feel what I'm saying? Yeah, you feel what I'm saying? That's, that's not me. I, I, that's not, I, I, uh, that's not me kissing joking. ass right now. Oh no, but like oh. literally, no one was doing it, dude. But that's yeah. why I did it because I'm like, mm-hmm. you know what? No one's doing it. I'm gonna do it and watch. People are gonna wish they did it the same time I did. I I said that as soon as we started talking. I was like, (laughs) (laughs) I was like, I I I really wish I did this before this guy did it. it." (laughs) But yeah, but yeah, people like. But because of that though, that's why I'd really big imposter syndrome. Yeah, yeah. Only people will look at me like, "Hey, you're the guy that should know everything." I'm like, "No, I'm not the guy that knows anything. Mm -hmm. I'm just documenting my journey." That's why I always wanted to set it out that way. But man, I failed a lot. Mm -hmm. I I don't even think I I I should have shared more often than the things I failed in. Because people were judging me so much, man. Oh, dude, I bet. It was so it was hard. It was so I, hard. I mean, getting that big of a following and being that in a, like, what's it called? Like, that vulnerable of a position where everyone sees you in the spotlight and yeah. they put you on this pedestal. And then you say some of these things and it's just like, yo, I mean, you, you've gotten these comments that I see the comments all the time on your, on your page. Also, between mine. Right, mm-hmm. it's like I've never seen you code. I oh can't my, call that you. That is so <laughs> annoying. Number one, okay, I've only made one portfolio in my life, and it's from a YouTube bootstrap video. Okay, I completely copied. I've never made a portfolio after that. Everything I've oh, ever oh, coded. That's your portfolio right now. So if I look up Chris, do you still oh, have it? Gone. No. I, oh, I, I, oh okay, okay, okay. I couldn't afford it. I. I Buy camera stuff. <laughs> you do like, but like, I never made a portfolio after that. Every time that I coded, it was just for work because I was at that job for like two years, right? Two years, two months. Then I went to a mid-level job. I'm like, all right, I don't, I can't focus on the portfolio. I need to make sure I don't get fired from this job, right? Um, so it was just me trying to keep up with my job and their demands all the time. So I just never made a portfolio. But funny enough, every job I've had after that first junior job, no one ever asked for a portfolio. Huh. And when companies did, I'm like, I'm not gonna apply to this. Forget that. Wait. So so like they it was only resumes after that? Yeah. It was just all right, you have the skill, do a coding test and etc. And that was easy to pass. Um yeah. Hmm. Yeah, dude, but yeah, people saying that like you don't show us your code. Well, yeah. you guys will be happy to hear <laughs> that starting in January 15, I'll be coding live on stream. Every single day, Monday to Friday, four hours Whoa. a day. Monday to Friday, child codes can't even keep up with my content when I do that. I'll have my oh. own, my own wait, designers wait, playing my content. Wait, wait, wait. Be, oh, before oh, you go oh, on this shameless oh, plug, before oh, you go oh, on this oh, shameless oh, plug oh. rant, like and subscribe, like, youtube.com. Oh, slash oh, oh, no one can hear it, no one heard it, no <laughs> one heard it. I don't care that you're bigger than me. I'm not gonna let you self promo on wow, this channel. Like gained weight, bro. That's so messed oh, up. Why would on. you say that, dude? Come Just because I'm heavier come than you. Bro, I'm in the bay, also, man. I'm in the bay like, too, homie. With you. Um. Uh. So no, no. Listen, listen. Before you keep going on this on this rant, I'm, I want I want to go back onto this. You streaming every day. Uh, is this a challenge? Monday oh, through gosh. Monday through Friday. You know, what I'm going, time, I'm, I'm what, going time what times are you streaming? What times are you streaming? I'm not, I, I'm not gonna say until January 15. What well, platform the week before? Twitch. What platforms? Twitch? Twitch? Yeah, I'm not gonna show them on YouTube. All right, guys, starting January YouTube, 15th. I mean, oh, January 15th oh, on Twitch, nine to five. You can catch oh, me on Twitch no, streaming every five. day. You know what? Matter of fact, not even Monday no, through no, Friday. No, no, you'll have Monday a- to Sunday. Okay, so Sunday to, to five, Sunday, right? Monday, to, Monday to Friday. Okay, I have a maybe question. not maybe not nine to five, but we're gonna figure Fire. it out. Because I hope you better get a job by then, bro. <laughs> January fifteenth, brother. I got like I got a little less. <laughs> like, I got a month. I have a month. Oh, wait, January fifteenth that soon? Holy crap! Okay, yeah, yeah, dude. Where are you? Where where you been, dude? Yo, I've been busy, man. Meetings all I, day. Man. I like, know. Boss. I know we haven't been talking as much. We literally haven't, which is crazy. We used to play World of Warcraft all the time at night, yeah. and now what and happened? Became responsible. <laughs> then we became responsible, man. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, it, yeah. Now, now look at you. You get to stream every single day 
on Twitch at a place that I should have been at with you. You could have been doing something. Wait, are you saying that you applied to the same job I did? That's not what I'm saying. Wait, then what are you saying? What are you saying? I might have been, like, considered for this thing. (laughs) You know what I mean? Like, it could have happened. I could have been a... Oh, okay. Oh, sorry? I could have been a full-time streamer. Oh, okay. You know what I mean? I may or may not be streaming full-time right now because of this. (laughs) Because I may be a little bit salty right now. <laughs> oh my gosh, dude. So we didn't apply to the same job? Uh, no. No, we didn't. We, oh, we didn't. didn't. Uh, wow, really? You know, oh, okay. You know what? I, I, I can't lie. I can't lie. We did. We did. We did. We did. But uh, as, you can, did? as you guys can tell, only one came out at the victor. So you know what? Wow, don't I say will, it like that, bro. I, I will say this right now. Chris came out with a W. Wait, uh, what? He was the Lakers. <laughs> I was Miami. So he was the Lakers. Oh, yeah. I was Miami. It was a close call. We had, <laughs> we had injury. The Knicks. The Knicks weren't even in the discussion. What are you talking about? The Knicks have been so bad for like <laughs> how many years now? Oh, <laughs> oh yeah. man. No, but, but, but I'll tell you this. I think if Justin interviewed first, he would have gotten a job. If you mm, it's hard to say it's hard to say uh, we w- i will say i will say this right now and chris confirmed this to me if i had interviewed earlier than when i had mm-hmm. initially i think it would have been a whole different maybe story like two weeks that's it two weeks two I weeks i was off maybe by three. two weeks maybe three yeah wait <laughs> did i did i re- refer you to the job as soon as i, I did right yeah right when i started interviewing Mm-hmm. Like yeah i think it's because of it, it was relation into like other people um yeah. who interviewed i think yeah. if i had beat them in terms of timing i would have been now, no, no no like i'll tell you this though but the people that are on the team right now man they are amazing they oh are, no no i'm not taking that like, i'm not taking that away from them i'm are, just saying i'm better let me tell you about someone on the team. Let me tell you about one person. Okay, okay. let's get a profile. He graduated profile. high school by the time he was sixteen. He graduated high school when he was sixteen. Mm-hmm. When do you In usually college. graduate? Eighteen. Is it okay? I guess so. He yeah. Graduated high school two years sooner than went straight to college. Yeah. He's smart as heck. He's a senior developer, and he's like, he's smart as heck. Yeah, but is he a better streamer than me? I'm not gonna say who's better or not. I can't. I'm not gonna say that. <laughs> You're not gonna. You have, more you have more experience streaming for sure. Okay, I'll yeah. take that. I'll take that. I'll take that as a W, you guys. I'll take that as a W. <laughs> Claps in the chat. Claps in the chat for me winning that competition. Come on, bring it up. Oh bring it up. Bring gosh. it up. Okay. Back oh, yeah, on back track. On <laughs> yeah, back, yeah. back on track. Back on track. So. We were talking about failing. We're talking about like being okay with it. And I think that that's like a huge topic that I feel a lot of people struggle with, right? Like, especially like we were talking about with the comment for you where people are coming up and literally saying, and it's starting to happen to me too. People are literally going in the comments where it's like, you're just some, um, what was the term that they used? It, It made me laugh so hard, but they told me that I was, I was some sort of like, YouTube, uh, YouTube, uh, what is it called? Poser, poser, poser. I was a poser because yeah. even though I do oh, the live streams God. of me coding all the time yeah. and then all that stuff, he's like, "You're not an actual developer and you suck." Yeah. Pretty much, I was just like, "Okay." That stuff still gets under my skin, and it's like, "What proof do you need?" I've yeah. been developed for two years. I got hired at a world-renowned company, entrepreneur, and then my new uh, new job is at a like. Dang it! I can't say it. <laughs> but it's like <laughs> like what, you know but people still say it. they don't care they just but I, you know what i know so a lot of people who say that stuff they're just jealous oh no one thousand percent and that's the thing i was going to touch on that's the thing i was going to touch on right because it's like people say that but i'm like it's more amusing to me than anything yeah. i don't really care like i understand that i'm not where other people are but that doesn't matter and i talk about this any less than them at all either oh 100 percent. it's like i understand that there are people that are smarter than me that can code better than me whatever 
but I'm me. I'm not trying to compare myself to them. Yeah. Like at some point in my life, I will get to where I want to be. Right now, I'm on that path. You said the same exact thing when you were going in your journey, right? You said you know you knew where you wanted to be and you worked for it. Yep. Put all those haters aside. Like they say what they want to say. They can talk all that shit. But like you got to where you were. Now what yep. are they saying? They can say still, the, what, they, they say one so. thing. Yeah, yeah. Huh? They're still saying the same thing, but that's it. It's, that's, oh, it doesn't mean anything. nothing changes. You you stay on your course. I'm right. At a, freaking way new level like they can't that's even imagine I'm, it that's what i'm saying like literally like yeah. maybe a month ago i went through some of your old videos and to see where you are now and like talking to you now it's just like how are you still saying the same things do you not see what this guy is doing yeah. do you not i, see I am actually right still now? saying the same things as before though that nothing has changed <laughs> well that, I mean, that's, that could be a good and bad thing you know it could, oh, no, could be good and bad thing. truth man <laughs> that's what i'm saying though but like for you i'm saying situationally right but for you it's yeah. the truth you keep saying it because it's truth yeah but the fact that they keep saying the same thing and they, it's like obviously they haven't watched you and they haven't followed your journey and they just don't care they just want to say something to like get attention or whatever but it's like why would i waste my time listening to that shit instead of working on what i want to do right yeah Yeah. it's like i i have no time i have to make videos i have to work i have to study i'm doing studying live and the fact that you can still say that i don't show code or that i'm not a real developer that's fine that's just what people use to make themselves feel better you know why you're doing it and they're not true you're, True. You know, my, my family made fun of me for doing YouTube. They would mock me. Whenever I go to a family gathering, they'll take their phones out. Literally, you know, so annoying. Oh, look, we got our, our YouTuber here. This is when oh, I was at 3,000 followers. God. Now, my, my sister goes up to me. Can you give me advice on how to do YouTube? My uncle goes up to me. Advice on YouTube. My cousins go to me. Advice on YouTube. And then now my stepdad, wait, my stepdad never, he always supported me. Um, He was like, uh, Chris, how do I learn code? And my dad now is like, Chris, how do you learn code? Right. Everyone's like asking, you know, and it's like, see, all these people mock you in the beginning, but when you freaking succeed, oh, dude, it's that it is the most changes. satisfying feeling in the world. Yeah, because I make more than a doctor right now. Right? Mm-hmm. It's like it's and, cool. and I'm not a good developer. Yeah, no, but it's like you know what I mean. But like people never thought that would be me. I never thought it would be me. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, but when you finally make it, it's like they treat you so differently now. Now, which is really annoying. Sometimes people don't, they can't talk to me without bringing up money. It's so I hate it. I hate it. I so hate bad. it. That's why I don't bring it up anymore. I stop yeah. bringing it up just because it's just like so taboo now. I'm just like, you know what? I'm done. But yeah. that's like, I think the thing with all of us that have like created followings on YouTube or Instagram or whatever, it's like none of us really expected this to happen. Yeah. Um, and we just kept doing it right. No matter no how no matter how many times a video failed, no matter how many times a post for me failed, no matter yeah. how many times like I like screwed something up in the process yeah. like you kept going and along yeah. the way you always got those people saying something and it's exactly yeah. what you said right it's yep. because i'm on instagram doing what i want to do posting what i want to post like getting the followers that i want to get you're posting the videos about your journey doing the whatever it is you're doing right and you're getting subs and you're doing it yep. big and then the people who come through are just like He's so he's set such a higher level than me. I want to try to bring him down to where I am. Yeah, that's, that and this doesn't apply to people who do YouTube though. This mm. applies to people who do who code. Yo, one hundred percent. Like one hundred percent. Where I'm at now, not because of YouTube. It's yeah. because of code. Mm-hmm. Uh, I built mm-hmm. my own development company that makes almost over uh, makes almost hundred k a year. Mm. That's on top of that's not even including my salary for my freaking insane job, right? So it's like. Like I got here because of code. And so people, and so part of failure is people will look at you and what they're waiting for is they're waiting for you to fail. They're waiting mm-hmm. for you to mess up. Mm-hmm. But even if you mess up, they don't need to know. You just keep going, you keep going. And when you make it, man, oh my gosh, that's the best feeling in the world. Dude, for real. Yeah. Like I love, I love, cause I know there's on, on my channel, there's like specific people who I remember their names. I'm not obviously not going to say it. But they always point out the smallest stuff in my videos that like make that yeah. they just want me to like be aware of because there was one video I put out and unfortunately I had like some dead skin around my nose because I get really dry around my nose 
and someone pointed out he's like yo you got shit on your nose i saw that i just didn't say anything <laughs> yeah. i was just like I, I i saw it i saw it thank you i have an issue but what happened the next clip i took it off i noticed thanks thanks guy for pointing that out but it's like why i'm not gonna stop making videos because someone pointed out that i had a piece of dead skin on my face you know what i mean like and that applies to everybody that's coding that applies to everybody that's going for jobs or whatever yeah. keep going right like there's no point in you there was someone in the discord okay there's someone in the discord that was asking questions on like how they do npm install or how they get installed node modules and for us it's like very basic stuff type in npm <laughs> install that's what i that, that and that's what i answered right like that's what i answered but yeah. it's like you have to be okay with something like that right yeah. there are you you can't stop because you're asking basic questions you can't stop because you don't understand a basic concept you just got to keep moving and eventually yeah. three months six months a year two years ten years right you're going to be so much farther ahead in your career if you just don't listen to the outside noise and keep moving, right? If you listen to everybody that was talking to you, you wouldn't be here right now. I wouldn't be here right now. Oh, yeah. Dude, like, you know, it was discouraging because I'm like, hey, guys, let's look. I told my friends, I said, I shared it so many times. Let's learn code together. Hey, I'm going to get my job and they didn't want to do it. And I got a job in three months. I'm like, hey, I got a job in three months. You can do it too. They didn't want to do it. And it's discouraging when people don't do it with you, like, especially mm -hmm. when you want to help your friends and they're still doing the same thing today by the way yeah five yeah years ago you know and it's like yeah but you know what one thing i want to do want to share is that if you're not failing then you're not going to succeed 100 percent. not failing. yeah mm -hmm. that and that's the point of the live streams you know like for some of the people that are in the chat right now that come to the live streams and you've been onto a couple as well right i know you're doing your thing but um that's what they're for there's so that you can watch me literally fail at almost everything that I do in order for me to learn. Like there are things that I do not understand. And like I am okay failing in front of other people who are more experienced and grinding through the through not knowing in order to actually know it. Yeah. Like it grows yeah. that accountability and I think that's what everyone has to deploy in their own journeys is who cares if you fail in front of people? Dude, you know I, now that you'll never, ever do it again. No, and then that's the good thing about failing. So, like, man, when I start streaming, you know how people, like, some people look at me like I'm up here, right? Mm -hmm. But I'm not. I'm, like, I'm, like, way down here. I can't <laughs> yeah. As a developer, like, skill level. And so yeah. when I start streaming online coding, man, people are going to be disappointed because they think I'm, like, this, like, you know. It's because it's people have been following me. But there are so many people who watch me. That are way better than me. Oh, oh, one hundred percent. So many people, and so that's honestly, I know I'm gonna get so much hate from people who watch me live because we're like, Chris, don't you know how to do that? And I'm like, I should, <laughs> you know, <laughs> <laughs> I should. I know, I, I really, I really, I think I really should. I mean, you you're know? not wrong, but yes, I should know how to. Yeah. Uh, like, you know, I center I, dev. Uh, uh, Wait, what's a dev? <laughs> you know, uh, <laughs> what's HTML? <laughs> no, dude, like, dude, there's a lot of things, but you know, the way I I I, I grew as a dev is very unorthodox. And I think that's what's cool about your journey is that it's unique yeah. to you. You know what I mean? Like, it's very different. It's not, and that's what I like about the self-taught route, dude. It's so different. Yeah. You can do it in so many different ways. So yeah. many people have different schedules. You know, and people, we're all different in terms of how well we can retain knowledge in what we understand. And I think that's what's cool, is right? And that's how a team is formed. Some people understand certain concepts way better than other people. Yeah. And I think that's oh, what's yeah. so key in the community is like on Discord, you can have someone who doesn't understand fetch or any like Ajax calls or whatever. Yeah. And then someone else who is just like a complete wizard at it. And boom, right there. That's a there, learning there moment. Are, there are some uh, douchebags out there, man. Like, oh, there's this kid who, after high school, got his first job, I think, in like six months. He moved somewhere. I'm not going to say a state because people know who he is. And he started bragging, acting like he's better than everyone else. He started getting making 90K a year in his first job. And he automatically thought he would just talk like and act like he's better than everyone else. 
and and, and it, it was sad to see. It was trashing abandoned from my Discord, and um, yeah, he would actually start bringing a lot of people's different like YouTube videos, collabing, you know, trying to get his name out there. But like this person was so big headed, dude. Um, I hate and, that. Like, there are people out there like that. And for me, it's like, dang, you're lucky. My first job paid me 45. My second job only paid me 70. Like, I didn't even get 90 until my third job. Well, actually, more than 90. You know, and like, like, it, you know, pe- there are people out there like that. But people grow at different rates. So, like, this is how my salary re- kept raising up, going up, right? For the slowest time, it's like their salary really goes up really fast. Mine went up really slow. And then pff, in, like, literally a matter of months. <laughs> like, <laughs> you know, and so, like, people, I know a lot of people compare their salaries a lot. And like it doesn't matter how much you make right off the bat. All that matters is that you're doing what you love. You and you get your foot in the door, man. Mm-hmm. Everyone has their time. Yeah. Everyone has their moment. You almost had your moment. I almost I did. <laughs> okay, I thought we was really about to get into like this like inspirational moment. <laughs> like people were really gonna resonate, and then this all of a sudden become the trash talk. Okay, you know what, guys? If Chris wasn't selfish, he would have offered me to to he would have referred me three weeks, three weeks before this job. Okay, and I, I would have been in a completely different position. Oh my gosh! But man. I will say, it's just like it's good to go back off what you're at, right? Like you you did that climb, and I feel like. I'm doing something where it's like I obviously I'm coming from the like IT job, right? Where I literally went from a computer store and my my income went skyrocketing because I actually took a contracting like job in IT. So I'm making like minimum wage and then bam, I'm up here now. Feels nice. And then exactly, it felt so nice, felt real real good. But like even though the money came in, it really really didn't like touch the ego much like i wasn't like bragging that i had this crazy job like i still did the work and then now i'm at a point where it's like okay covid hits blah 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 go in a little bit and then now i'm like here i'm way 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 down way down right i'm just like okay well this is where we're at i'm only making money through some instagram posts that i've got yeah youtube sponsors affiliates like that's it but it's not even it's not even like touching the surface as much as what it's i used to make beginning, man that's what i'm saying and it's like that's it's what's cool beginning. about the, the journey right now yeah. is like seeing all the all the failures from yeah. learning code right through the videos through the instagram and now it's whenever whenever and i know it will eventually right whenever that opportunity comes up yeah yeah, yeah for mm-hmm. sure I'm not going to be like expecting nothing, right? Because I don't want to like kind of, I hope it happens soon, but you never know. Yeah. It, when it does, I like being able to look back at all the failures and be like, okay, I literally failed my way through to get my first step job. Like that, I, I you didn't, close, I didn't, though. you didn't, huh? but this thing, you didn't fail, you didn't, it's not because you would not qualify though. Oh, for this job? Oh, you're talking about something else, different job. No, 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 no. The same no. one. But, I'm talking about okay. general. Oh, okay, okay, okay. But yeah, for this job, I guess I was qualified enough. You were, yeah, you were qualified. And as far as we know, I was. As far as we know, I was. Oh, you were. Anyway, <laughs> so, <Zach. laughs> yeah, yeah, like that. That's the thing is, even though, like, yes, I'm, I'm, I was qualified enough. It didn't work out. Yeah. Uh, unfortunately it's timing there could be some like internal corporate politics that play into that yeah um which we won't get into because that's like a whole other topic but it's like yeah you kind of just have to fail your way through and i think that if i had given up which i had multiple times prior Mm -hmm. to me starting instagram you know like i was trying to learn how to code i believe it or not i think the first time I try to stay consistent with it was half a month through I was trying to learn Ruby and then gave up because I was just like, yeah, I'm not really understanding this stuff. Like I can't even get this like one exercise to work. Um, so I'm done and I left. Right. 
And then now starting the Instagram, getting accountability and still, I still go through those times where it's, and I literally have clips from the live stream of me going through something so simple when I look back at it and I was stuck, like hard stuck on something. And then people in the chat are like, dude, okay, back up. Actually, no, no, we'll, we'll excel from this. There was literally a live stream I did on Twitch and some people were there where, you know what leak code is, right? So I was on leak code on Twitch and this had been my first time going on leak code because they're sponsoring a post You did it on Twitch. Okay. Okay. So, I, and I did it on Twitch. Okay. I did it on Twitch. Right. Oh, wow. And I have never done like these problems. I've done like interview problems before, but not extensively. Yeah. Didn't really study for it. So I only know very little about big O. I only know oh, very yeah. little about recursion. No, yeah. like linked lists mate, like very minutely. Right. <laughs> it's, it was bad. It was really, really bad. Yeah. I put myself in such a vulnerable spot. Live yeah. streaming questions on leak code. The easy category was hard. Yeah. Right? So amazingly hard. Yeah. Like, and I had people in the chat. There was uh there was a engineer who had recently been hired on at Microsoft. Super cool guy. Mylan, if you're watching this, shouts out to you. And there are plenty of other people who are watching as well. Mm-hmm. And literally, dude, Chris, when I say, when I say those questions easily took me 30 minutes. No, I mainly, I think I only got through one. I only got through one, uh, one question in maybe an hour, hour and a half. And it took me so long, but like talking through the process and some of the comments that I was getting from those people where it's like, dude, this is the first time you're doing leak code, brute force, whatever solutions you've got and then optimize it later. But don't worry, like you're going to struggle through these questions. They're meant to be hard. They're meant to be hard. But the more you do it, the more you're going to understand some of these patterns through these sub problems. And then you're going to be able to apply them later on. So it's like, Oh, there's something to this. I'm going to keep streaming me doing leak code. Fail through it. I did it a second time on YouTube and people in the chat were there, right? They watched me suffer through leak code (laughs) questions. Like, absolutely suffer. Like, you should have because it was so bad. Like, I, (laughs) the funny part is a lot of the people who were in the chat knew the answers to the question. They did it on their, on their side. And like Danny, I think was there too. And they were coding it along, finished it. 30 minutes later, I'm still on it. And they're like nudging me in the right direction, trying to get me to go. But dude, yeah, it was amazing. It was an amazing experience for me to be in a position where it's like, okay, I'm going to fail through it. Yeah. If you want to talk about humility, bro, I would never do that. Dude. I've never even done lead code in my life. Dude. Not even one. Yeah. It's (laughs) it's so humbling, dude. Because the thing is, right? You get to watch me go through something so mentally taxing and yeah. what could be destructive in a way, right? You're getting all these people in chat. I had at least like 40-ish plus people in the chat watching. I was doing this legal question, failing miserably. And all of them, I would not, maybe, maybe not all of them. I was like, mm, maybe 30 to 40% of them that were like actually tuning in knew the answer already. So the fact that they're, the, the suspense of me figuring it out, uh-huh. right? I have that pressure in my head knowing that there are people watching me that know the answer already, but it's I like can't. Doing it on your own is already tough enough. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, doing it in front of everybody. So humbling. and But at the end of the day, it was a huge learning experience, right? Oh, man. Like... And that that's mean, the thing. that's but the thing is, if you if if you don't fail in that, like honestly, going through lead code is a good way to get better. Yeah, it's a really good way to get better. And like, the more you fail there, the better you get because now you know how to solve the problems you couldn't solve. Mm-hmm. What exactly. Way, like, what better example? Dude, yeah, and that's that's the that's like my message right now, especially on Twitter, on Instagram, on YouTube. I think that's my message right now is like the people who are joining in on the journey. It's okay to fail. Like the title of this of this episode. It's okay to fail. Yeah. I would, I, dude, a couple months ago, I would not be streaming me doing lead code. I'd be way too scared. Like, I'm being dead honest. Like, there's no way I'm going in front of all those people. And fa- that's like me 
like going in front of a thousand people taking my clothes off. It's like, no, I'm not doing that. Like that's scary. Like it's a bad analogy, but like <laughs> it's, it's a terrible, terrible analogy. analogy. Why did you use that example? I, I don't know. It's just the first thing. It's the first thing. Oh the first my gosh. Thing but it's like, you know what I mean though? It's yeah, like yeah. it's one of those situations you'll never jump into. Yeah. You'll yeah, never that, jump that, into. That's, that's a, that, no, that's a, that's a really good example. I mean, just going into that and then the pressure to solve those problems in front of everyone, that's just man. Like I've done that stuff in coding interviews. Yeah. Right. And um that's tough enough in front of one person. Uh oh my job God. trying to get a bad this was for a job in Boston. I didn't get it. It was for a dental company. And like dang, that was tough. But doing it in front of like so many people, that's I could only imagine, especially on YouTube where you probably get a thousand or two thousand more people watching that stream. Yeah. Like, oh yeah. gosh, dude. And that's that was the one thing was like there was so much pressure and so much going on because like you know, you obviously have the problem set in front of you. You're trying to think it through in your head, but you're also trying to be entertaining in a way, but also try to talk to people in the chat. And the chat is rolling with tips, answers. I'm Does trying to like, not read the answers. Uh, yes. Yeah. I, I think, you know, obviously it's hard to read in text form because I don't know how they're saying it. But there are a couple of times where it's like people go through and it's just like, dude, how are you not getting it? You could just do this, this and this. I don't know how you're. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know how you're thinking of this. Um, and that kind of rolls through in my head sometimes too, right? Um, I'm doing these questions and it's like, I really don't, I don't know what I'm doing. I, yeah. I really don't know what I'm doing. And all these people are watching, seeing me not know. Yeah. And again, it's that thing with, with, uh, that you brought up before is the imposter syndrome, right? You, you really don't like, you feel that way, especially in a position like that. You feel like an imposter because you, you know, you come off as someone on social media with with a following right you you're on a pedestal yeah you're on a pedestal and when you're in a yeah. position like that where it looks like you are literally you literally know nothing dude it's like one of the most again like you said humbling things that you could ever go through but mm. i think that i've become so much better at lead code and so much better at problem solving being in those positions yeah right like with that's all how that you get pressure, better yeah, yeah, with all the pressure, dude. With all the pe pressure from chat, dude. Handling one person, that would be butter. Oh, you no, know what I mean? It's still, it's still tough. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm not saying I'm not saying it's gonna be easy. I'm not saying it's gonna be any easier. But I'm saying like I can. I'm better now, adapted to the pressure. Yeah, right? I, I would say it, it's kind of easier in a way, it's, despite the pressure. When people are watching in chat because they're giving you guidance. Yeah, see, that's the thing. Yeah. And I tried to tell them last time, like, trying to not give me the solutions, but I was allowing tips. And some of the, the tips were definitely helping. If I had not gotten some of those tips, I would not have, yeah, I would not have gotten where, like, any of those problems, like, straight up. Like, some of them really, really did help. And I think hopefully I can stream more elite code and really just get people to, like, not That's say anything. I think I'm going to do that too. That's a good idea. Yeah. I think you should. That would be really, really interesting. And, like, watching people, again, it's like, it's, it would not seem like entertaining content. But when I was watching all those VODs back, dude, it was kind of entertaining because now that I knew the solutions in my head, I'm watching back at myself, like, dude, what were you doing? Like, how did you not understand that? Like, <laughs> dude, that should have been easy for you. You could have done this and this and this. But then I also get to see my solutions and be like, oh, I can I can optimize that out like that. I'll go a little bit better or this function could work a different way or I could have used map over here instead of, yep. you know, chaining all these loops or something. Um, so I think it definitely helps in that aspect. And I feel like if anyone streams, I think leak code would be so cool to do and i yeah, definitely I, gonna do a video of like a compilation I'm honestly noting this right now Holy you God. should you should this is the one time i will allow you to steal or an idea from me it's okay does it. done okay <laughs> <laughs> what well, what just happened i had content stolen from me guys this is why you don't you don't make your 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 uh your secrets public don't do it <laughs> chris sean steals them oh yeah I steal from everyone. Yeah. Um, but yeah, like I think if I if if I were to let anyone here off with a tip 
and I preach it all the time, is put yourself in uncomfortable positions. Like you really, that really have way, to push yourself. Um, like so with this new organization that I joined, right? I mean, they know I have my own web development company, they all know I'm running my own clothing company and all this different stuff. And I told them, yeah, I hired people, so I don't have to worry about it no more, which is nice. Well, I make less money, but it's fine. Um, and like they said, all right, cool, because they want me to some take charge of some projects now. And I'm like, oh, <laughs> for this big ass company, man, it's like, yeah, uh, I don't know. And, and they said, yeah, we want to give you something that you have no idea what to, how to do just to see how you handle it. I'm like, hold on. I just started this job and this job pays really well. Hold on. <laughs> I want to keep this job. <laughs> But they're literally giving it to me just so, like, I can fail. Like, they're expecting that to happen, actually. So, like, that's awesome, man. Like, they're giving you opportunities to fail because I mean, that's the only way you get better. You no, know? 100%. Um, yeah, yeah it's, I love when I see companies allow people to be in a position where it's okay to fail. Like, I hate, and it, th this is what the one thing I hated in IT, right? I feel like in our hierarchy, in the IT team only, was that we were expected to to perform at a certain level and to not mess up mm -hmm. anything severely or even like anything super small would have been like, dude, why, why did you do that? You know what I mean? Like I would have been scolded for messing something up and I didn't mm -hmm. like that pressure like that. Mm -hmm. My boss was going to essentially like potentially fire me if mm -hmm. I didn't turn back a laptop in time. Yeah. Uh, I just heard something in the comment about psycholo psychological safety in the organization is super important. I'm going to tell you why this is so important. I had a meeting one-on-one -on -one with the, a director in this org huge organization, right? The new company is huge. Huge. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, <laughs> and, huge. No, no. I'm try I'm try I was trying to Im imitate Trump. I, don't, I can't sound like oh, Trump. So oh, I, oh, I oh. It's like gotcha. huge. Um, uh, I'm so bad at this. That's why I didn't go to acting. But <laughs> the director said this. Chris. I did not hire you. I just want to let you know that I did not hire you because I didn't think I would, I, I, because I would eventually fire you. He said, let's say for a few months, say for four months, five months, you just disappear. You're having a mental breakdown. You just need space. You're still getting paid. You have unlimited PTO. I will still not fire you. He said, I want to let you know that, you know, the only time you would be let go from this organization is if I fail and if I get let go, like if I mess, you know what I mean? So that's what he told me. Like, you don't have to worry about it. I'll just give your best. And I'm like, dang, I've never heard that. You know what I mean? Um, well, yeah. in my head too, I was thinking like, I'm fine if I lose my job. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but but like, but to hear that, it's like, dang. Now, like, when you go to work, it's not because you feel pressure; it's because you want to do it. Right. Right. Yeah. And that's what I feel like. So many jobs, because like, <clears throat> and I feel like any job really, you you kind of fall into that uh, mindset, right? It's, dude, you go to work. Do what you need to do. If you don't do it, you're gone. Mm -hmm. And I hate it. I hated that doing in the 90s. Oh, I expected to life. go to the office. And yeah. I had, even though it wasn't like specifically put on me, yeah. I, I felt like I had a quota of things to repair that day. Mm. Right? And it's just like, that I don't want to like try to hit that number. Because yeah. yeah. then if I don't report it, what happens? Yeah. I'm gone. No, dude, it's, and that's the culture. Like with these new developers I hired for my, uh, that I hired for some, my company, I told them yesterday, hey, I hired you guys not because I thought you were the best out there. And I told them, like, I think you're actually doing better than I realized. You're better than I thought you were. I mean, I told them, like, you guys, your job's safe. Like two years minimum, right? Like mm -hmm. you guys you don't have to worry about it at all. And now, like, they feel more comfortable talking to me. They don't have to feel like they have to. Because they're, they're in the Philippines, so they have to stay up late. I tell them, don't worry about staying up late. Just work during the day. Just get it done. That's all I care about. And but that just sets the culture. Yeah. Of any company. But if you treat your people like which happened on my first job, by the way, developer job, making you feel like you're gonna lose your job, do like you you won't perform as well. Like coming to work won't be a joy, and you'll eventually leave, which is why I left that company. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I think, you know, and there has, and I understand it from like a manager's or a boss's perspective, right? Pressure, you, yeah. you, you need to have a balance. You can't be so laxed where employees are just now doing whatever the hell they want and they're not There's doing the work. Still, of course. Oh, for sure. And, but yeah. I, I think that's important to understand is like culture in, in a sense is what we're talking about. Creating culture that supports learning opportunities through failing. 
Mm-hmm. I that's think the that's the best culture to be in. Hundred percent. And I feel like, like not welcome. very many people do that. I yeah. don't. I and I think that's kind of why maybe I I can't say right, but I feel like maybe some companies are hesitant on hiring more juniors because of that because they don't support the growth and they don't support failure because they can't really afford it. Yeah. Oh, here's another thing he told me, Chris. Whenever you make a mistake, how do you want me to correct you? I'm like, what? Wait, I've never heard that before. <laughs> You know, like everyone makes mistakes. Like the things you're doing that you shouldn't be doing, you know, if you talk to someone a certain way, like how do you want to approach you? I'm like, this will be direct with me. So tell me straight forward. And he's like, oh, dang, I try to beat around the bush a little. And I'm like, nah, just tell me straight. Let me know. And, and like those questions show that they care about you. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And so what I'm learning here is literally what I'm doing exactly with my employees too at my company now. So like that's so important, man. Make let them, let them allowing you saying oh, it's okay if you make mistakes. Yeah. Right? And so that allows you to grow so much more. Yeah, 100%. Like, and again, like just back to the moral of the story or more of the, the point that we're trying to drive is be okay with failing, be okay with like being in a position where you don't know something and that's mm-hmm. fine. Understand that there is Google at your side understand that there is a community of people by your huge, side that are willing to help huge. huge it's like so huge it's almost disgusting how big the community <laughs> is and how willing they are to help how willing google is to help you anytime you type something into that search bar you're able to find what you want it's all there it's all there it's for the basic all stuff. right there all right yeah, there in front of you it's all right there and Everyone has all the tools that they need, even if you have no money. I mean, you do need a computer, though. Honestly, you do need a computer. Yeah, yeah. Real computer, life. internet, though. Like those are the only two things. Yeah. Computer and internet. The rest is up to you. And the rest My is up to you. My dad's learning code now. That's anybody My can learn how to code now. now. And it's like my stepdad's in his sixties. Um, my dad's in his fifties. So it's like, man, like they're learning code and they're enjoying it. Yeah. That's the other thing, too, I feel like, is you really need to enjoy it. If you don't enjoy it, then you shouldn't be doing it. Don't waste your time. Yep. But if you genuinely enjoy this thing, enjoy the failure. Embrace the failure is probably what I should say. Like, Fail. embrace all of that. Fail. in or day, all day. Yeah, all day, air day. Oh, my God, that's a shirt. That's a shirt. Um. <clears throat> oh, hold on. I'm writing this down. I'm writing this down. That's an idea. Ready, no, ready, don't worry about it. I'm not even going to tell you because... I'm not telling you because you might you take it from me. me and I come on, you gotta tell me. I don't want to tell you. Bro, we share everything with each other. Secrets. Wow. Okay, I see. I see. If you, I, if you I, take I, okay, I, fine, 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 fine. I'm fine. Ready? Ready? I'm gonna tell you right now. I'm gonna tell you right now. It's a hat that I'm gonna make. Done. <laughs> I told you. Oh, fail all day or day. Okay. Yeah. So write that down. Write that down. Uh we'll sell it later. Um, we'll make millions. Um, daily. That's a good shirt. Oh, I'm gonna do that. Okay. In a hoodie. Wow. 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 Okay. All right. Literally, I'm just gonna make a shirt that says "I'm a failure" and just like throw it out there. <laughs> That's gonna be awesome. That's gonna be an awesome piece of merch right there, dude. Yeah. Oh man, dude! Someone, uh, Daniel in the chat is saying, "Oh, actually, Chris, um, we're at an hour, so we're gonna close out soon." But I think, I think I want to start opening these live streams up to like Q and A at the end because I think that would be cool. Um, yeah. yeah. So we'll take a couple questions like from the chat, and then we'll close out. But Daniel, um, I just want to say, Cyberpunk for me later. is it multiplayer on Cyberpunk? I have no idea. Never mind. Sorry. Keep if it, if it's not, if it's not, I'm down because I'm gonna stream it right after this. Okay. Um, yeah. I'm down to be on a call and just like talk. Yeah, like while we're playing. Dude, we need to do that. Guys, guys, confirm an idea that we have for Dev Talk for me really quick. Oh my okay? gosh, really? Wait, wait, wait. Should I put it out or should I just keep it quiet? Just do it, do it, do it, do it. Should I do it? Yeah, just get, yeah. No, should I I mean if we need to keep this under wraps, I'll keep it under wraps. No, 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 no go for it. This is interesting. Are you sure? Literally, some of my meetings will play Minecraft while having a meeting. Okay, okay, okay. Wait, that okay, that's pretty dope though. <laughs> that's pretty dope. Did you do it today? Was that today? Yeah. Was it good? Um I'm, I'm guessing it was, it was fun. Fine. Yeah. And that was your first time playing Minecraft? 
Yeah. And how'd you like it? It was boring as hell. Oh, <laughs> but it it's was not a, for me. It was it's not for you. everyone. Now yeah. listen, if we had meetings, if we had meetings playing World of Warcraft, though, yeah, that'd be fun. That would be fun. Like, could you imagine? Could you imagine yeah. what? like the raids that we would do or the dungeons we would be in during meetings that would be so oh hectic God, bro, and you're like yeah. so chris what are you working on hey hey put your totem down put your totem down now bro heal me now go 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 stop, 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 stop. Heals, guys anyways <laughs> what component are we working on today um oh, oh my gosh but so here's my idea here's my idea okay what how the interesting part that like ties into that is we were thinking about doing something like this but it's called the dev talk dash after hours and it would just be me and chris playing video games together talking literally just talking but it's like we're talking we talk about code offline too yeah we do actually yeah, you're right. yeah so it'd be like our offline talks but now they're put online in a podcast form yeah so That's like It'd be very, very edited, put the interesting parts in their video. Exactly. So like the podcast episodes, instead of like just cut out all the dead air and just put in some of the interesting topics. Interesting, yeah. And like maybe you could hear the gameplay or or it would be. um, What's it called? It would be like um, if we're playing WoW, every time I'm talking, wow. it just, the camera zooms in to my character while I'm playing WoW. And then it just splits over to you every single time. <laughs> that would be hilarious. Oh. That would be hilarious. Just yeah. like, yeah. Shannon, oh, are you sure funny. you want to keep that private? I mean, we would. No. I don't think we would air it live. If someone wants to, yeah, if someone wants to copy it, go for it. Good luck. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> go for it. Um, yeah. But oh, yeah. yeah so uh, questions. Yeah, questions. Anyone that has questions. But I wanted to point out that Daniel uh, Mick Mick Lassen, I hope I said your last name right. Always impressed with Chow's insight. It's like he's been on a lot of software teams. I really appreciate that. Thank you so much. <coughs> oh, Chris has something to say about that. Oh, no, no, nothing. Dude, I uh -huh. COVID, bro. Oh, that's right. That's right. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Um, how do you get ideas for coding? Huh? I'm guessing I'm ideas like that. for like projects. How do you get your ideas? Oh, we just went over that today. That's funny um in your meetings you just yeah you just build <laughs> you just build you just yeah. build <laughs> like um, stop focusing on something it's too specific just build yeah yeah i mean like alexander i would just say like if you are trying to figure out what projects to make try to fix a problem that you have in your life or something that you'd like to see right yeah. like for me for example i really like nba and i really like basketball and i wanted to work on apis so i worked with a third-party api to display player stats because that's something I want to work on. You have NBA 2K 21. No, I don't. I stopped playing 2K after like 2K 18. But I, I used to play that. all the time. Talk after hours, oh man. my god! Oh my god! god. That's a good you idea. Team and you just played on your PC, man. Yeah. Oh my god! Oh my I'm buying god, 2K. Bro, let's do it. <laughs> I'm buying I'm 2K. Xbox, but I'll buy it on Steam so we can play. Wait, 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 Chris! I have to ask you a serious question right now, live on stream. Are you a salesperson for Blizzard and Steam? No. Please Are you sure you, buy you sold me on half of Blizzard's catalog <laughs> and more games that I could even imagine? Oh, I got you to buy so many video games, dude. It's so so many games. I you mean you mean skins that I bought on Valorant? <laughs> wow i started playing oh, oh my, god. my god call of duty <laughs> call of duty call of duty although i'm i'm on a war zone kick now so i mean oh. like there is that we could play war zone oh uh, dude Warzone's so fun i'm pretty good at it now dude i'm pretty good at it too I'm like, i like, get like five kills every game at least dude i'm at like six all right good for you oh okay i thought you were gonna be <laughs> a, a little bit more um I'm happy for you no, dude, that, that sounded so <laughs> fake. Anyways, moving on. <laughs> moving on. Questions, questions, questions. Questions, questions. Couple more questions and we're going to close this out because I really want to play Cyberpunk. <laughs> um, let's see, right let's now. see. Where, 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 uh... 
Oh, here we go. Will Parr coming in. Will Parr, what's up? A um, little thought-provoking here, he says. When you do fail, what is y'all's process for learning from that? Chris, I'm going to let you start on that. I think it depends on what it's on. Um, if I'm if it's a bug, and this happened to me a lot of entrepreneur, and a lot of bugs I couldn't solve, go to the CTO, Jake, he's the best boss until the one I met now. <laughs> um, but uh, 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 if it's a bug, you have to look at what the actual problem is. I think that's huge. And, and if you're coding, you sell, you, you, you're you you're what you fail in a lot or whatever it is, it's a bug all the time. You have to look at literally what the source, what the problem is. And a lot of times I would overthink it. I would literally try to look at what could, would cause a problem when it has nothing to do with it. I mean, it's just, it's reverse. What do you call it? Reverse. Reverse engineering. engineering reverse engineering. It's a lot of that, man, when it comes to solving bugs. Um, but it, that's such a broad question, though. It could apply to anything. So I think you have to kind of be a little bit more detailed on what you mean by that, to be honest. Yeah. And I think I'll just go into it a little bit to touch on what Chris said as well. Uh, oh, he says, hmm, let's talk about a bigger scale. Maybe you delivered the wrong requirement or something rather than just a bug. Delivered the wrong requirement or something rather than just a bug. Um, I don't know. I mean, dude, I, I haven't done it. Honestly, I personally have never done anything in that, in that kind of big scale. A lot mm -hmm. of things I worked on were just small bugs. Like a project went wrong? Project, yeah. I think I think it's to, to go back on that. Like, obviously, I haven't been in a situation like that when it comes to code. Right. I think that it, it touches on what you said about reverse engineering is mm -hmm. I think you need to I think you need to backtrack, mm -hmm. see where you were mentally when you were working on the project, what your thought process was kind of like, if you can remember it right or if you can recall and look at some of the steps. And that's why I think documentation is so, so key in that because you need to document those steps in order for whenever situations like this happen, bam, you have paper trail of what it is you did so i think it's if you don't have that documentation available obviously just try to retrace your steps see what happened and for me it would be you know oh yeah that's hard that's heart-wrenching right there um but i would say like you know look at what it is you did figure out what it is went wrong Obviously, go back and fix it and then write down maybe a system or some steps in order for you to n not allow that to happen again. And again, it's just all through reverse engineering, documenting your steps and just yeah. figuring it out from there. And one thing I, I forgot to mention is testing, doing a lot of testing everywhere, mm -hmm. whatever you're working on, test everything um, all the time. Uh, uh, and there's, actually, that was one of my biggest problems that I, I'm like so close, I'll, I'll commit my code code review comes in I'm like chris did you test if this even worked i'm like holy crap i didn't <laughs> i mean i assumed it would work because I, i'm so good at this <laughs> you know <laughs> like i got in so much trouble when it comes to that oh my gosh but yeah good question though what are yeah you very about? very good question uh hold on ready ready for this oh god i'm sorry um are you ready for this i've been practicing so in previous chats i've been i've been told that i need to become more like a makeup uh what's it called like parts of those makeup videos. Ready? Ready for this ad placement right here? Topo Chico. Topo Chico. I'm looking for that sponsorship. Topo Chico. I'm looking for that sponsorship. Mineral water. Twist of lime. Straight to the soul. Fizzy yet healthy. Topo next Chico. Question. All right. Let's go to the next one. <laughs> <laughs> I absolutely nailed that ad placement by the way perrier better alexander your band no i'm just kidding um <laughs> shannon has a question for you um at Krishan, i'm using treehouse through my boot camp how long did it take you to learn code through the videos uh i stopped using the videos after six months i learned everything on the job there you yeah. go you just learn the basics but you move on go to udemy where you can learn something more advanced but i learned everything on a job everything i know now is from the job I would say, Shannon, um, if you're not on the job right now, too, um, regardless of the timeline, I would just say take what you know through the videos. Um, I think you know more than you think I think you give yourself credit for and start building projects. I think I that would be a thing. Uh-huh. A lot of people on YouTube, in the cards uh -huh. code, mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> they make the same content. Okay. Everyone. Um, 
like a lot of tutorials or the future of development, like my video that goes out tomorrow, the future of development 2021, right? Uh, <laughs> Dude, is, is it is it is it bad? Is it bad that I was about to make the same video? No, I'm absolutely scrapping it. Why? Everyone does it. It's okay. Um, whoever <laughs> has the best thumbnail will get the most views. That's just how it works. True. So, true. You'll, you'll beat me on that. You're better at pictures. That's so why I'm sending you pictures of my desk pass for you to take pictures of. <laughs> um, but like, because someone asks us, what's the future of con coding content on YouTube? Um, like everyone does the same thing, mm -hmm. honestly right uh like what is it that you think that you what is it that you want to see what is it that you want to see on youtube like what is it that you wish people did or what do you want to do that you're not like brave enough to do yet on youtube yeah that hasn't been done before mm -hmm. see that's hard to say because i i feel like my mind is always on trying to innovate on that right yeah. as a creator you're always trying to do something people haven't done but obviously there's there's stuff that we all do that is kind of like recursive in a way right um for example the 2021 roadmap kind of videos right um i plan on doing that hopefully sometime soon but i think it's the the, the funny thing is is that that's how i get my content as i watch other people and i try to but i noticed that as a creator we watch less content than we used to Mm, yeah, I, yeah, I don't watch YouTube as much as I used to. The only time I ever I watch YouTube, the only, ever, the only other time when I watch YouTube is research purposes only, or if it's Naruto. Yeah. Right. And I think when I'm doing it for research, I'm looking at videos that are not related to code anymore. So I'm looking at the medical field. I'm looking at PT. I'm looking at cars and I'm seeing yeah the ways they do their videos and I'm seeing the topics that they're talking about and then the ways they present it. And I'm going to say, okay, I want to pull inspiration from that. I think I want to do more of these kinds of videos. Yeah. Right. And I think that's where the innovation comes from. So I would love to see, and I know there's been some slack on it, right? I would love to see more vlogs. I would love yeah. to see more live streaming. Yeah. I would love to see, um, people's day to day. I would love to see people, um, you know, voicing over what they do, mm. right? I feel like the tutorials, those will never be like oversaturated. I think you can yeah. always hop into that space. There's always something to learn and there's I'm always, that space. exactly, yeah. exactly. Um, You're, but, and yeah. what's cool about that is you get different teaching styles with the more people that come in it, right? Ooh, someone wants to code competition between us. Uh, I lost already, so. Um... <laughs> But like, does that answer the question? Um, yeah. You know what I mean? Like, um, with, yeah, no, for with, sure. With content, I think the you know, the other thing is probably more collaboration. Yeah. Like I, I don't collaborate, but it's fun to collaborate with you. I don't know why. It's because we're both. Never mind. I'm not gonna say it live. I might get us uh, unmonetized. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, more collaboration between devs. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I, I it's weird how it works, but I feel like in other niches and under other industries it's almost frowned upon to like collab with people because there's like automatic beef between creators yes yeah, everyone is competitive with each other um yeah uh, as for me what i want to do like starting when i go all out on this new one Shh, tofu girl stop squeezing oh i'm not muted crap <laughs> um uh i'm gonna start vlogging like crazy mm -hmm. but my vlogs will be like a whole new level my drone footage. I'm gonna buy like a two thousand dollar like drone to fly over Virginia. Do you want to send like, me your old one? Get, I'm gonna get time lapses <laughs> like crazy. Sure, for like five hundred. Just kidding. Uh, the old one broke. Um, that's why I don't do it no more. But you know what I mean. Like I'm gonna do like so many like vlogs, but they're entertaining, not just like me just talking the whole time. You know. Uh, I'm one thing. Say, I, those are my vlogs. Huh? What you say? You're trying, to, you're trying to you're trying to talk smack. Those are my vlogs. Wait, 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 I did that before you, bro. What do you? Uh, I'm the OG. You're the one copying me, homie. I'm the next Krishan boy. <laughs> oh, that's what I should do. I should make did it. You just I say should... I'm the Krishan. What the? <laughs> I'm the next Krishan. You know what I should do? I should literally um make a music video. Someone did this for Peter McKinnon, and oh. the title the title of the music video was "I'm the next Peter McKin or I'm the new king in town" or something like that. And it was a diss on Peter McKinnon, but not really. And that's what I'm gonna do for you. 
I'm gonna make a rap. I'm gonna make a music video, and I'm gonna change the coding game. I'm gonna okay. change it. But keep going. What were you saying? Like uh, next level vlogs? Uh, yeah, just next level vlogs. Um, I already know I'm gonna do it. Um, because I have like I have an insane camera now. Like my camera app <laughs> is freaking insane, and, and I have two cameras now. And so, and then the other video, I'm mentoring two people, and I told them I'm gonna get them a job in 12 months, and. I'm going to record our sessions now. So when they ask me questions, I'm going to answer that and I'll upload the the good content onto YouTube, all those different stuff. You know what I mean? I'm going to mentor one more new person randomly and I'm going to help them get a job. And I'm just going to, you know what I mean? So I'm going to do like um, someone else. I'm going to help, the, you know, <laughs> but I already tried, man. I tried, but you know, this works both ways. <laughs> you know, like I get you in, but you have to get you, yourself in the whole way. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> it was really fun having you on the podcast. Oh, oh, I'm just my kidding. God. I'm just yeah, kidding. Yeah, dude, this, this is a, this is a, <laughs> I feel so bad right now. All right. By the yeah, way, this no. is, uh, Justin and I joke like this all the time. Yeah. So if you guys are taking Chris seriously, don't take him like, seriously. This, this is, this is like we literally, like, I, I tell him this truth all the time. Yeah. And and I understand that, like. Yeah. That one, that would hurt, Chris. Oh. Chris, oh my God! You gonna do this to me live in front of everybody? <laughs> in front of everybody? Oh my gosh, dude! I understand yeah. doing leak code in front of everybody, but this is a whole different thing. Um, uh. but the other thing that actually, like, you just made uh, me remember is kind of what like I'm trying to do is, uh making this whole journey transparent with all the negativity and all the negatives that come through the process, right? Like I'm trying to make failure a big thing. I'm trying to put mental health at the forefront because obviously with imposter syndrome comes burnout, depression, anxiety, all this stuff, right? And I want people to be aware of like, Obviously, other developers do that. I get it, right? We It's a topic that's talked about in the community already, but I want to really be transparent about it in a different way. And I think that's where the vlogs come in. I think that's where my videos come in. And I think it's what... That's that's the thing. The whole broader aspect of content is creating content that is more reson... That resonates more with people. Mm. And be I think you. that's... More, huh? Be you, yourself. Exactly. Your truth. Exactly. Exactly. I want I want that transparency more in the content game when it comes to the coding industry. I want more transparency. I want more resonation and I want more people. I need more uh more genuine people. Yeah. Not like this fake rah rah shit, right? I like we don't need that. Wow. Yeah. Not yeah. like Krishan. Um whoa! <laughs> whoa! Whoa, whoa, whoa. Bro, I'm as real as it gets, dude. You even, you, oh my, do, oh my gosh, bro. You know me. I am the same as I am on my videos, homie. Am I not? Am I not? No, you're fake. Uh, <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> oh, oh, no. <laughs> Chris, you gonna let me do this by myself? Chris, fuck this Asian guy. Chris, <laughs> don't talk about yourself like that. Oh, <laughs> oh my gosh, dude. Oh. dude. <laughs> I still literally died to this day. The fact that you got on Coding Phases live stream and literally only introduced yourself as I'm Asian. <laughs> Everyone already knows who I am. Like baller. <laughs> I'm just joking, dude. Baller, dude. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh, oh yeah, I remember that. That's so funny. That's hilarious, dude. You know, um, one thing too, um, uh, in regards to uh COVID though, like, even though despite COVID though, it, it's crazy. There's still a lot of developer jobs out there. People are losing jobs. That's true. But mm -hmm. man, um, I mean, there's like, always going to be an abundance of dev jobs out there. Always, yeah, always, always an abundance of dev jobs. Yeah. Maybe no, no, no. I won't talk about that here. We won't talk about that because I think he watches me. Never mind. Um, who? No, I'll talk to I'll talk to you about it offline. <sighs> okay, we'll talk. We'll talk about it offline. All right. Any other questions that you have 
Uh, for me, Chris, I'm going to look through chat unless you saw one. I don't have any questions. Let's see. Um, I think we're good. Yeah. I think we're good. Oh, man. All right. Oh, what? Did Nana said she had, or he said they had so many questions. Wait. Oh, wow. Uh, Look at all these questions coming. I know. They all just come out of nowhere. Oh, all coming God, in. oh actually, you know what? I think Wilpar, Wilpar had another question. I think I remember seeing. Um, Chow, do you like content creation? How do you like content creation versus coding? Interesting. Oh, way better. Way more fun. Oh, with content? I love content creation over coding. I do, too. Much that's fine. I do, too. That's but I think, I think what makes it cool is that we are able to mesh the both in one. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Right. Like that's the best part. But if I had to choose one, content creation all day. Yeah. All day. Uh, it's just that's more. Not that. Not to say that content creation is more satisfying, but I. It kind of is. Right. You're creating like, your own brand. Exactly. That's you. And it's that's what I you. love. That's what I love. That's what I love. I love when people are watching me for me and not because of. Um, anything else really? Like I love it. Another good question. What do uh, senior devs think of junior devs? I think this is a really good question. Cause so like I hired two junior dev oh actually three mm -hmm. developers. And what do they think of them? I don't think anything bad about them at all. I think I need them. Mm -hmm. Those are my thoughts. I need them. Like I'm hiring them. I know what their skill level is, what they can and what they can't do. I need them. That's how I yeah. think of them. I don't think of them any other way. Now the people out there who think differently, who are ignored of questions with me, like I need my developers. Mm -hmm. Like they're great. I love them. <laughs> that's how I think of them. <laughs> yeah, that's good. Yeah. yeah. And I think that's like what the awesome aspect of like that dynamic is. Right. Like when seniors, because I feel like that hierarchy, right? You get intimidated as a junior. You you look up to your seniors and you feel like they're like the people you can't piss off. They're the people you have to please. But in reality, it's just like it goes both ways. You hire like, them because to do the easy stuff so you can focus on the harder stuff. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. not that you're better than them it's just like they can do the easier stuff that's why yeah. they're paid less but yeah. like that's why we can get everything done because i can't do everything i don't want to do everything right right you know no 100 percent, 100 percent. i agree um your name is chris right what the heck <laughs> <laughs> yeah uh oh, shit, let's see know. let's see chow are you trying to be a self-taught dev employed wait what Chow, are you trying to be a self-taught dev employed as a dev or just making oh. YouTube? Oh, uh, I would love to do both. I would love to do and be both. But who like who knows what's going to be coming up in the future? Like, I'm still trying to pursue a dev job and get employed and stuff like that. But, you know, this content creation thing is really, really kicking off. And a lot of the efforts are put into content creation right now. Like, I have two videos in the pipeline and I'm working on two more. Like, I'm just trying to do... Dude, I'm trying, man. Like trying to balance the live streams, trying to balance making videos. I'm trying to get on a schedule. So there's more of that. You know what I mean? So yeah. um, if if me getting a dev job doesn't work out, it doesn't work out. Like I have content creation there. Um, you will get a dev job, bro. I, I'm just saying if you never know, there, it's nice. always a possibility that I don't get hired. It's always a possibility. Obviously, you try to... Um, you try to make it work, but we'll see. We'll see. Either way, I would love to be both or one or the other. It doesn't matter. But I think content creation will always stay there. I think coding will always stay there. So no matter what, we'll we'll always try to do some. We'll always try to do some. All right. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. I think we're good. I think we're good here. I think we answered most of the questions. Ricky, what's up? I see you coming in. Um. If, oh, well, actually, let me answer this real quick and then we'll go. Um, if you do get a dev job, will you stop posting? No. No. I think, Chris, did you, when you got hired, I started did you, posting. Yeah. But like, did you tell them that you were creating content still? No. Or, or, I got in trouble though. I almost got fired because they wanted me to stop filming during work. Oh, really? Oh, damn. Damn, damn, damn. Okay, well, that's like maybe one thing I might ask if if I get hired somewhere. Hopefully, it's a place where it's like I can still create yeah, content while I'm working. Yeah, because that's still me. Yeah, 
that's still me you know what i mean like i want to be able to work for a company and be like i want to still create content i still want to work on my brand like this is me this is potentially my life right here not potentially like this is my life yeah like child codes is how i got here so i want to be able to build on that don't ever stop Um, and if i yeah if if you're gonna constrict me in terms of what i can do on my free time or if i can continue doing this i'm out yeah i'm out i'm sorry i yeah 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 that's exactly it and that's what i made sure it's like if i can't show the code that's fine but can i document what i'm doing can i talk about more about what we're doing as a company what we're what i'm doing as a dev like yeah people want to know about it i want to do more of it want companies that don't allow that are stupid dude there's, that's it's, the reason there's developer relations yeah dude there's a reason for that there's yeah. a reason for that. I would right. love to be one, dude. Like, I think Coding Pass was in here the other day and we were talking about it. He was like, dude, that was like, that's a go- that's a role you should be in. I was like, I absolutely want to be in that. If I could be a dev rel, bro, oh my God, game over. Game over. Also, Alexander just came up with a great idea. Dev Talk merch, we're doing it. Oh yeah, it's on the planet already. Fail every day. We're Fail every day, all day, every day. Wait, that's not Dev Talk merch. That's Child Apparel merch. I don't still talk much, bro. I'm already on it. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, but dude, honestly, real talk before we end, you need to get in develop relations. Make that your like honestly. If you could, bro, let me tell you something. There are only ten thousand developer devrels in the world right now. It's still early, bro. You get in like within the next year. You, you think you're doing what you're doing for a living? Like imagine yeah. if I can do this living and stream every day starting in January. Yeah. Like, that would be awesome. Uh, you're starting to really, really like I think it is. What is DevRel? Oh man. DevRel, so developer relations. Uh it's also goes by de- developer advocacy. Uh I think it goes by developer uh evangelism as well. Um it's pretty much you are you are a developer advocate that is your role and what you do is you make videos for the said company that you work for whether it's making videos like tutorials on how to use the company's product um making documentation for it you know engaging with the community doing creating just creating content on a pedestal in the community Exactly. You are yeah. the middleman, essentially. Not even the middleman. You are the connection between other developers and your company's product. If you look at it that way. And the way you connect them is through content. Mm-hmm. So, and I think, you know, me and Chris have talked about it. I think that would be perfect roles for us. That would be my dream job. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Like, that's the dream. That's the dream. So yeah, YouTube Shannon. Um, there's Twitch. I know that some companies do Twitch. I think they're slowly getting onto the like live streaming route. Um, but a lot of it is YouTube. Some of it's hosted on its own platform. So um, DevRel is just a really really cool place, and I would re- really really love to be in it. I think I could kill it in that. Absolutely. With what I'm doing now, like Chris said, I think I could absolutely be a DevRel. So you can get one. I mean, with your content, your community, your brand now. I'm telling mm-hmm. I told you before, man. Like I'm telling you. Like, yeah. Bro, you we'll talk about it later. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. We'll talk about this offline. Offline, offline. Yeah. But um, yeah, blog posts are a big one for sure. Yeah, podcasts, all that stuff. You would look fit that role Shannon. perfectly. Thank you, oh, Shannon. Look at that. Shannon, you're so sweet. Keep telling dude, the Shannon, now. Dude, Shannon pops up in the chat and I love it when she pops up. Like I'm just like Shannon, oh. thank you for popping up. Yeah. <laughs> thank you for for supporting all the time but yeah that's gonna do it for us today guys thank you for joining in on another episode of the dev talk uh chris sean was here to join obviously we're gonna try to do this we're gonna make now a new channel. Talk channel. yeah we need to do we're, we're gonna probably create uh oh we're gonna go twice a week now i'm down dev talk channel. Mm-hmm. let's do be it a lot less view, but only for now yeah i got i got you let's do it let's do it all right twice a week if you guys want to join in, uh, we'll both uh, promote the channel once it's created and do all that stuff for the marketing Can I one side. One thing though before we end. Uh huh. All right, guys. You know, I mean, I appreciate all the support that you give Chow. Right, I really appreciate it. But if you really do support Chow, <laughs> aka Justin Chow, the wannabe Filipino, 
you got to go ahead and leave a like on this video right now. You got to live, leave a like. All right, your turn. Guys, if we, <laughs> by the end of this video, if we don't get 100 likes, I ha I'm giving you guys a minute. I'm giving you guys a minute to get us to 100 likes. If you don't get us to 100, if, if we don't hit 100 likes, or actually, no, no, no. I'm sorry. I'll take that back. If we get 100 likes in a minute, in a minute, I me and Chris buy are going to hours. Cyberpunk. It's too late. I already bought it. <laughs> <laughs> 24 hour live stream from me and Chris. Oh, uh, dude. Oh, by the way, are you going to get the AirPods Max? I'm going to buy it on my next check. Are you actually? Yeah. You didn't hear the story, but so I trolled Ricky and another one of my mods, No Sonder. Um, I told them on my last live stream that I was going to, if I hit a hundred likes, no Saunders was going to get a pair of, uh, AirPod, AirPod maxes from me. And then at 200, Ricky would get them and we got a hundred and I, I was trolling the whole time, but some people thought I was serious. So, so <laughs> they both had left the live stream and I told them, I told them that I was going to get a box that like somewhat resembled what Athel would send. <laughs> put some weight into it and then whatever <laughs> color put whatever color they selected, put a picture of it inside. <laughs> but but Chris, Chris, Chris. But at the bottom would be a like twenty dollar Apple gift card just in case they got really oh. mad at me. Oh, and then, oh my god. And then it would be okay. But like Ricky came onto the live stream and started flaming me. That's hilarious. It was so funny. It was <laughs> hilarious, dude. And then someone donated me a hundred dollars. Um, wow. And was like, go buy them something since you can't afford uh, the headset. Oh, like, <laughs> <laughs> oh man, that was Burn. hilarious. Hilarious. Burn. That was probably the funniest portion of the pod or uh, of the live stream that I've ever done in my life. Oh. Um, for sure. But if you're if you're gonna get AirPod Maxes, uh, you should save up your next check and then buy that for me. No. Or okay, fine. How about <laughs> how about you fly me out once your COVID ass is recovered, and uh, I'll try the AirPod Maxes out for like a month. But I'm gonna have to take them home, and then I'll fly back, and then I'll I'll give them back. You're paying for the plane tickets. You are. <laughs> what the freak? You think it's going to cost more You're than the one that has a new job that's starting in January 15th. It's a pretty good job. <laughs> are, you, are, you, are you streaming on your channel, by the way? No, nah, heck no. I'm not going to mess myself up with the algorithm. I'm going to do it on Twitch. No, no, no. No, no. On your Twitch channel, I meant. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Okay. Yeah, if you guys haven't followed Chris, go follow him on YouTube. He's the, what, real Chris Sean everywhere? Just Chris Sean. Just Google it and then they'll yeah. find me. Okay. Mr. S knows <laughs> off the bias for me. <laughs> you Google Justin Chow and just some random doctor still shows up. <laughs> doctor. <laughs> doctor Chow. Oh my gosh. Okay. Uh, what's his Twitch? What's your Twitch, Chris? Oh, good question. Oh, Sean is S E A N. Uh, S E A N. TV slash Chris Sean. Yes. Look up Chris Sean and all yeah. of the socials. Pop up. I should have had him listed here, but I'm a bot and I didn't really. Uh, I'm not on that game. Chris has a better uh, uh, layout than I do for the stream, but he doesn't give it to me because he's too senior and he doesn't want to share. So he's also a selfish person, if you guys haven't realized. But yeah, you probably realize it after the stream. Yeah. You know, he didn't get me the job or anything, but you know, it's cool. It's all right. We'll, we'll make do, guys. All right. That's going to do it for us. Thank you, guys. We only got six likes after we said, but, you know, it's okay. <laughs> we did. <laughs> it's okay. It's all right. We'll, we'll make do with that. You will make do with that. But um, I will post out on my channels. Chris will as well once the Dev Talk channel is made. We're going to be live streaming that twice a week on that channel, and we'll go from there. See you guys later. Bye, guys. Peace, skis, out, skis. And done.